Hey guys, Trevor Boone from Emerald City Guitars. I am truly excited to show you what I have today. This is a 1963 Fender Jazzmaster, which is kind of the, the big topic that I'll get to. And next to me is one of my favorite little amps, the Swart AST or the Atomic Space Tone in black tweed, my favorite finish or option that they did. I'm gonna get into a little bit about this amp, but I gotta talk to you about this guitar. So. I think this is one of the best sounding jazz masters I've ever, ever heard. I'm gonna give you a little breakdown on the history of it, how it ended up here, and if you're looking for one, listen up. So I got this guitar from one of our employees, uh, one of my best buddies, he's been here for a long time, we played in bands together, he is an authority on these. He's owned so many jazz masters, Jaguars, vintage Fenders, just, he's the king of cool, and I, I trust whatever he says, he's one of those guys. So he had a 59 Jazz Master with the anodized guard that he, he's a type of cat who's so meticulous and thorough that he went and checked out hands on so many different examples before settling on one. And he, got, he had this amazing 59 Jazz Master and he had it for a long time. I got to the pleasure of using it on some recordings and in band settings, an incredible guitar. And I kind of pitched the same thing. Like this has been through the ringer. It's been through the TSA of Jazz Masters and uh, approved to what I thought was as good as one of those could sound. The argument with those 59 Jazz Masters, they almost lean towards a strap. They're that 50 slab board, super light. They're incredible guitars, and yes, they do the Jazz Master thing, but there's just something about the quality of wood, the era, they're a little stratty, and I love that. But we're talking to a cat who is a Jazz Master connoisseur, and he needed a little bit more of that inherent jazz master quality that we all hear on records and that we, you know, if you don't have the pleasure of using a 59, you're a little bit more familiar with. So he went on the hunt for one that really, really nailed all the jazz master tones the best. Same deal, tried out so many. After months and months and months, he got this thing. So 63 is known for being an incredible year for basses, strats, Jaguar, Jazzmaster. I don't know what's going on. It's before they did the binding on the neck, so you still have that really kind of old school classic Fender neck deal going on. There's an abundance of high quality wood still at that time, so just it all came together. He bought this guitar. It is 100% original. Of course, we take all these apart, do our whole deal. I mean, it is. Absolutely gorgeous under the hood. It's perfect. All the tape, all everything. There's not one red flag. It, it's perfect. The only reason he brought this in is because it's the end of the year. He's shuffling. He's on to the new thing, and that's just how we do sometimes. And uh, you know, he spent some good time with this. When he first bought this, he was super proud. We came in, ran through a bunch of tests through you know Vibrolux, Brownface, all the cool amps that we geek out and try to match it with, and a hundred percent sold. I'm a believer, this is exactly how a jazz master should sound. Again, a little bit later you get the thicker, you know, polyurethane finish, the binding, small changes, and they're great. I would love to have one. I do think compared to this, they're a little bit overbuilt and you kind of, you feel that. They're uh, already a guitar that Leo kind of, his engineering side took over, so there's a lot of little switches and components. It doesn't need to go beyond that. This kind of raw version of it is what you want. It feels like a real, real guitar. And if you dig old tellies, old strats, old P basses, I mean, this fits in that realm of it just feels like real deal Fender. It's got your regular player wear, super dark Brazilian rosewood that's just beautiful. Original hard shell case, which is in great shape as well. Seriously, I want this to go to someone who's been on the search for a long time for that perfect jazz master who's gonna cherish this thing and put it to good use. If you wanna take the plunge and you don't agree, I will full refund, I'll pay free shipping. I swear by this guitar and I'll vouch for it any day. So I know I'm excited, but it's real. All right, the Swart AST. So we're a dealer of these probably 10 years ago. I actually brought these amps in because of word of mouth. Some players that I really respected at the time were using it locally, a couple guys. And what stood out to me is you got that tweed sound, but incredible reverb, like blackface, fender, reverb, and beyond. It's so deep and heavy, fully integrated in your tone that if you're into that ambient stuff or you want, really want to explore kind of that spacious vibe or that big reverb deal, it blew my mind, floored me. I immediately called Swart, got a bunch of them in. And you know, when I called and started ordering these, I noticed that they did the black tweed option, which was one of the coolest things I've ever seen. I've seen some old Fender, you know, basements, 
from the 50s, spray painted black, kind of keep up with the Joneses, updated the black face look. I always thought it was cool. I always said, you know, they're wearing a black dress kind of thing. And I love that they did the black suite. I think it's one of the coolest looks ever. And in this little configuration, it's just, it's just badass. These amps are super light. The vibrato is just pulsating in the tone. It's totally part of the amp, it feels like. Hand wired, point to point, it is top quality. There's not one part in this that can be switched or modified to make it better. It's a real deal amp, boutique amp, professional amp, serious piece. These guys have a couple really cool amp models. This is my favorite for kind of everything I just said. Tone, reverb, vibrato, size, and the black tweed finish. I love this package. I think it'll be a cool match. So rather than try to flip this upside down and do a little demo, I'm gonna have Carl do the demo on this today. My right hand guy down here and uh, let's see how it sounds. Thank you guys, really excited about this one. 1963 Fender Jazz Master, pre-CBS, all original, everything you wanna check off the list. And a Swart AST in the black tweed finish, little 22 watt beast of an amp. Give us a call if you have any questions. Please hit subscribe, share, we appreciate all you guys. See you next time. <laughs>